So you wanna get more sleep. In today's video, I'm gonna give you three tips on how you're gonna get deeper and fuller sleep. Now the simple solution is you buy one of these babies, these massage chairs, they're gonna definitely help you sleep. No, no, we know that's unrealistic. Now we've all heard of the simple solution that if you are overweight, then it's definitely going to dis and it's going to affect your quality of sleep, but that's not what this video is. This video is about simple, practical tips that you can apply right away. The number one tip that I have for you is to get a sleep mask. I use a sleep mask every single night and I use it when I travel. It basically goes over my head, goes over my eyes. And the nice thing about the one that I got from Amazon, which was only about 30 bucks, is that it's got these built-in earphones that don't squish into your ear like the earbuds. And you can have what's called binaural beats or you can have white noise going so that you don't hear distractions from people moving around the room. You don't hear the clock ticking. You don't hear maybe like a beeping sound coming from somewhere in the other part of the house. It blocks out all that noise so it doesn't distract your sleep but it also blocks out all of the light now I don't know about you maybe you have the same problem is that in my room I've got the Shaw box I've got all these different things my toothbrush has the light on it and that lighting even though it's small it's sending light onto your body and your body thinks that it's part of the sunlight. Your body doesn't really disassociate one light versus the other. And so what ends up happening is it's going to affect your sleep. So the tip number one that I would tell you is to go and invest the $29, go to Amazon and look up a sleeping mask that has the earbuds built into it. Number two is that we need to stop eating three hours before you go to sleep. Now, how many of us have put in our last meal? We eat late. And then what happens is, sure, it's gonna temporarily make you tired because your body's going through a digestion process. But what ends up happening to that food once it gets digested? The main purpose of food is to give you energy. Now, if you're consuming, and especially if you're consuming carbohydrates before you go to bed, well, guess what? You're going to get woken up because your body says, this food is digested and you need to use it as energy right away. So give yourself at least three hours before you actually go to bed. And I'm not talking about going to bed, going on your phone, like before you go to bed, before you hit the bed and you do all that stuff and you pass out, make sure that you stop eating. It doesn't matter what it is, just stop eating three hours before you go to bed. And number three, and you always hear me talk about this, is that consistency is key. Your body loves balance. So what you need to do is keep 80% of your weekday sleeping habits the exact same, right? So if you can go to sleep at the same time, at least Monday through Friday or Monday through Thursday, then Friday you stay up late, Saturday you stay up late, and then Sunday you go to bed at that same time, then guess what? Your body's always going to produce the hormones that it requires to fall asleep. It's going to build in a circadian rhythm so that your path and your pattern is the exact same day in, day out. Two days of sleeping past what you normally go to sleep at, isn't going to wreck it. But if you do this at least five days of the week, I guarantee you that after about three to four weeks, your body's just gonna naturally fall asleep and you're not gonna need any of the above, but they're all going to contribute to a deeper, fuller sleep. So there we have it, guys. We have the three simple and practical tips that you can use today that's gonna help you get a deeper, fuller sleep, which is gonna lead to a better and more productive day. Give the video a like. I'm Coach RJ, and we're going to see you on the next video.